high enough. Talking quite high. Just under. Her. Yeah, no, your hands are fine there. You can cover her hands up if she's got them across her chest. And then take the lower tail down and just tuck it just into her neck line. Then take your massage oil. Superficial effleurage from pubis to base of sternum, out to the sides, up and over iliac crest and return. Okay. We're going to spread the oil first of all. Um, Kelly's got a tummy piercing so you have to be careful not to put any pressure on her piercing. We're just going to spread the oil first of all. How do you think you'd need to adapt the massage for the abdomen. What do you think you can think of that you need to take into consideration because it's the tummy area? Not too much pressure. Yeah, it needs to be lighter. When you begin, just ask your client if it's comfortable. Yes, comfortable if I need. <clears throat> if you're treating a pregnant lady after the first three months of her pregnancy, you wouldn't treat the abdomen area, of course. So, effleurage from the abdomen to the sternum. Slide your fingers under the back, and as you come up over the hips, just gently pull. So that movement, when you slide your fingers under and pull up, feels really nice for your client. Yes, it does. <laughs> How's that pressure, Kelly? Right. So, we'll do six of those to begin with. Because you split your massage routine up into segments and it has to fit within the hour, the abdomen massage usually lasts about five minutes. and slow. So you're sliding up, sliding across the ribs, under the back, pulling up over the hips. And that's your effleurage for the tummy. Deep stroking following the same movement. Flat, this is like a flat handed effleurage and you're sweeping over the side of the body. It's almost like a circular movement with two hands. You're sliding up over the hips. So you can do three of these movements, one side of the body. And then three the other side. movement and it's with your fingertips and this is the movement that's really good for the colon if there are any blockages this is going to help release anything that's in the colon do you have to start on a certain side you do it's a clockwise movement start which if you were that side if you were the left side of the body you could start obviously from here but we usually start just here on the left side of the body and circle around and that's working clockwise this is also a really good movement if you've got tension in the abdomen Okay. Ringing 
to the sides of the abdomen. So slide your hands to the side of the body and ringing, literally is as it sounds, it's almost like you were trying to wring out a cloth. So you're wringing the muscles from side to side. This again is going to stretch the muscles, release any tension. And as you come up and over the hip, if you pull, again that feels a really nice movement. How does that feel to you, Kelly? It's quite nice, firm pressure on the side of the body. You put a little bit more pressure on the sides of the body than you would working over the abdomen. When you feel you've done enough of those movements, then move to the other side of the body. Slightly more awkward working on the side that you're actually standing at. You're still pulling up and pulling back. And then you're picking up where possible. So you're picking up support the body with the hand on the other side and it's almost as if you're going to pick that muscle up in your hand and then release it and that again is working up the side from the hips to just under the bust and then the other side every movement three times to begin with. And then, and then light hacking to sides of abdomen. Okay. This is just to the sides of the hacking, not over the abdomen itself because it would be a, it's a tender area. When you're hacking, try to avoid a chopping movement like a karate chop because it would be quite uncomfortable for the client. You're literally just flicking your wrists. It's that type of movement. So, can you hear? It's like a flicking movement. If I was doing a karate chop, that feels very different, doesn't it, Kelly? So you need to keep your wrists nice and loose. And you're using your little finger just to Strike the body along the side very gently. This is a very stimulating movement. And then the other side. And then just very, very gently. Stroking an epirage is number one. So epirage again, just as we did at first from the abdomen. Did you say stroking first you of said all? Stroking an epirage is yeah, number I one. Think, so stroking around the colon, just smoothing around the area where you've worked. This movement is a really nice soothing movement. Again, if your client's got tension in her abdomen, this is really a lovely movement to carry out. And then effleurage to finish. So sliding over the wrists, Pulling up over the hips, sliding from the abdomen to the sternum, three times, and then pressure, just very lightly to indicate that you've finished. When you're working around the colon, besides um, the movements that we did all around the colon like this, did that one, didn't we? Needing, yeah. did, it, did we do needing the colon? Yeah. We did. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did that. No, that's fine. Yeah. 
So would you like me just to go through that quickly again if I just do them all once? Yeah. Once more. Mm -hmm. Okay. So effleurage. Deep stroking following the same movement. Okay, so that was. So you're stroking, no, stroking like this away from the abdomen and upward and over the top of the hips. And that is a nice soothing movement. And then circular kneading following the direction of the colon. With your fingertips. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ringing to the sides of the abdomen. Almost like a Chinese burn, you're twisting the muscle from side to side. As you come back, you're, can you see your thumb movement? You're pulling the skin towards your fingers. Picking up where possible. Okay, so you're supporting the body on the opposite side, supporting the skin, and grasping hold of the muscle, almost pulling it away from the bone. And light hacking to the sides of the abdomen. So you're just gently. Flicking the wrist, and that's your stimulating movement, your tapotement movement. And um, stroking an effleurage to finish. So, just gently smoothing around the colon. This is a nice movement to finish the abdomen massage. your effleurage movement again to finish. In between the other movements on the leg and arms we did an effleurage in between in the sequence but yeah. you don't do that. On the do no you? but if you were working and you're carrying out your routine and you can't think what to do next then go into an effleurage movement. Use it as a linking movement because sometimes especially when you're first training you forget your routine and you might be thinking, oh, what am I going to do now? Then you just slide into your effleurage movement and then think about the movement that you want to do next. The thing to do with each area of the body that you massage is don't stop, obviously, to think about what you're going to do because your client will know. But obviously your client doesn't know your routine. So if you continue and go into your effleurage movement and then you'll be able to think about the movement that you want to do next without having to stop. Yeah. Okay? So then towel back to keep the client warm and pressure over the towel just to let her know that you've finished.